whatever kind of edit you want, just tell it. Okay, for this image, let's say turn red part of her clothes to blue. And boom, fantastic guys. For this, let's say a close-up photo of a woman neck, wear this necklace. Just fantastic guys. For next one, let's say zoom in on the bird and create a close-up, sharp, ultra HD photo of it. Wow, I can't believe this quality. Let me zoom in on the original photo so you can see how blurry it was. But the result is just incredible. For next one we say, colorize this photo, lipstick is red. Flawless. Let's do something else. Her finger on her lip, don't change her identity. Uh-huh. Or we can say, she takes her tongue out of her mouth and puts her finger on it. Oh my god. Guys, look, it doesn't even change the person's face at all. How is that even possible? Just wow. Okay, for next one, we say turn this image style to ultra realistic style, retain face features, camera angle, pose, and scale. Look at the precision, guys. It's outstanding. We continue. We say create an ultra realistic image that shows this woman is in a yard of an old castle. She's at the left side of the image. Don't change her identity. Hmm, I like it, guys. Her face didn't change at all. Now let's say it's snowing. Everything is covered in snow. Okay, perfect. For this product, we say this sofa is placed in a stylish living room with natural sunlight streaming in through a large window, creating a warm and cozy atmosphere. Flux context is the best. Don't worry about image editing anymore. It will do it for you with the highest quality. Forget about ChatGPT or other AI photo editors because this model is far better than all of them. No contest. Hey guys, in this video, I will quickly introduce you to Flux Context. And the good news is I've included a ready-made file for you to download. I've collected the best use cases for Flux Context so you can easily get the most out of it for your projects. Plus, at the end of the video, I'll introduce another incredible file that no one has ever shown before for using Flux Context and amazing features you definitely don't want to miss. I really appreciate if you like the video right now and subscribe the channel for my next fantastic tutorials. To start, where you can use Flux Context. There are many platforms you can use to access Flux Context right now, but all of them are paid because right now this model is only available through API and you have to pay to use it. But the best website which offers a very affordable price, super high speed and also include the best video generation models alongside it is OpenArt. It covers all you need in one place. And here's the interesting part. It also has the best photo generation model for Flux, which is Flux Pro. And believe it or not, the cost per image is even cheaper than the official Flux Pro website. In fact, it's priced the same as Flux Dev, which makes OpenArt absolutely amazing platform to use it. Okay, I put the link of OpenArt in the description and you can click on it and come to this page. Also, this link is an affiliate link for Joker AI community. And if you sign up with this link, you will support me. And as always, I appreciate your very kind supports. Come to this link and from here, you can sign up and purchase your plan. As you can see, there is a limited time offer for a year subscription and you will pay just half of the price for an annual subscription. This is great, guys. Here you can see your credits and for Flux Context, you can go to the Create Image section right here. Click on it. In this section, you can choose Flux Context model. Just click on Switch button and you see a bunch of models here which you can use whichever you want. We have Flux Context Pro here and Flux Context Max here. The Max model is much better than the Pro model in terms of prompt understanding and the quality of the image. The Pro version is a bit weaker in producing high quality images and Flux Context Max has better quality and better prompt understanding. You can choose Flux Pro for creating very high quality images and also Flux Dev. But Flux Dev and Flux Pro has the same price and it is unbelievable. I choose Flux Context Max because I want the high quality images and the best output out of Flux Context. 
Okay, click on it and you will see the Flux Context Max is chosen. The Flux Context is a model which you can use it to edit images through a prompt just like that you can talk to it just like a human and you can say like change the color of his shirt very simple i will show you the use cases one by one i can drag and drop my image here in this section you can upload up to four images for the reference image the subject the background or anything you want you can upload one by one in these areas i've talked about a ready-made file which is this excel file and you can see the most useful use cases for flux context in this file download it from the description and just double click it and it will open in excel it is very easy to install just google it excel and install it on your computer these are use cases with exact prompt I use to change or edit the input image and you can use it just by double click on it and right click and copy it and use it for your cases. I go to the open art website, paste the prompt here. I say turn red part of her clothes to blue. Let's see the result. Here you can choose the aspect ratio and there are plenty of them. Here you can choose anyone you want. As my image has a portrait like size i will use the portrait here is the number of outputs you want for flux context it will deduct 10 credits for each images i choose two and hit create It is very fast and very good. In some cases, you may face some flaws and it's okay. You can generate multiple times to get the best results. Here you can see it is the result we want. Let's go to the next part, subject reference. Here I give it a high heel show like this. And in the prompt section, I say a woman stands in a hotel lobby, wears a high heel shoe just like that and paste I can change the aspect ratio to vertical and click create you can see it is the most powerful model to preserve the reference image identity and the details won't change at all sometimes it's not 100 percent accurate but in most cases it doesn't change the details and the features of your reference image also you can call it in your prompt like this in this image i say turn this image style to ultra realistic style retain face features camera angle pose and scale and you can see here it did a great job this phrase is very useful to maintain the face features of anyone and I use it most of the time. I copy it and now I use it as a reference image and paste the prompt here. This woman sitting on a chair in lobby of a hotel. Don't change her identity. I click on create. Here you see I used another prompt, a close-up photo of a woman feet on a wooden ground wear a high heel show and I gave it this image as a reference image. You see almost all of features are preserved. For this one you can see the shoe didn't change also the face features of this woman. This is exactly the woman in this image yes it's unbelievable guys there are many use cases i want to show you but i quickly show you just here and don't use all prompts in open art right now because i've already done these edits and you can see all details about my work in this case i give it this image and I said turn this image style to ultra realistic style and it gives me this which is wonderful you see all details are preserved the hair the headpiece the clothes the patterns in her clothes the sleeves are exactly the same then I put this image as a reference image 
and say create an ultra realistic image that shows this woman is in a yard of an old castle she is at the left side of the image don't change her identity as always i use this phrase to keep unchanged her identity you see it did a great job and also preserved her identity her headpiece her hair and all other things and also it followed my prompt very accurate for next step i used this image as a reference image and i said is now snowing everything is covered in snow and you see the image wasn't changed at all and it just added snow condition to the image which is outstanding and you see all other use cases and i don't want to go for all of them just use them and enjoy okay next file is this zip file simply download it from the description right click on it and click extract all and click extract then click on this folder and here we have mac version and windows version i click on it and use this file to open it here we have artist inspired styles the most complete collection of various styles of various artists are collected here how we can use it in flux context for example i click on this style and also click on zoom then you can see these four pictures of this style this style is related to mike Allred, the mic Allred is the name of the artist. We can use this image as a reference style and generate other images out of it. Sounds great, right? To download this image, you can simply hold Shift and Windows key and click S to take a screenshot of the image, just like that. And it will save in a screenshots folder or simply right click on it and click save image i use this image here and just like that i use this prompt and place it here the prompt is use only the style of the reference image and create an image of a man beside a bmw car and select create button this is the previous result you can see it exactly matches the style of the reference image and this is another result it's great you can choose any style you want and there are a lot of them here you see unlimited styles here this is one of the great ways to use flux context to create stylish images for this one i used this reference style you see it's great the flux context can easily copy the style of any image wow it's fantastic guys okay guys i hope you enjoy it and please give me your feedbacks this content is exclusively for you my subscribers in wap and boosty thanks for watching i see you in the next videos